Hello everyone, welcome to another video and in this video we will see how we can query our JSON response using Azure OpenAI and Llama Index. So while passing the JSON data, we will not be passing it as a plain text, rather we will be converting our JSON data into a tabular format and then we will be querying that data. So let's quickly see how we can do this. So here, like I said, uh, we are working with the Llama Index. So these are the two packages you need to install. And the third one is for SQLite. So Llama Index, interne uh, Llama Index uses um, JSON Analyzer, which is a query engine. And this query engine uh, takes the JSON data and under the hood, what it does is it converts your JSON data into a SQLite table, which is an in-memory table for us. So whatever the queries we are throwing, whatever the queries we are firing, that all those queries will be executed on that in-memory table, which is created from our JSON data. So that uh, for that thing, we need to install the SQLite. So once these packages are installed, you just come up with your JSON data. So now your JSON data could be your somewhere in your file or this JSON data could be from your APIs response. So let's say you are making a call, you receive some JSON uh, data as a response and now you want to perform some LLM related queries on that data. So this particular use case is very useful whenever you want to query your uh, data which is output of your API basically. Because when we are dealing with API, usually it is the response is in the form of JSON. So this could be a very useful approach if you are working on the direction. So this is my JSON data and this I simply grabbed it from the internet. And if you have nested elements in your JSON, that would also work. So let's go ahead and work on this OpenAI part. So for Azure OpenAI, I'm importing this particular package and then I'm having .env values to read my configuration. So configuration.env is my file which I have created in the same directory and it is holding all these configuration related values. So I have passed in these and constructed my LLM object. So once this object is constructed, next thing is we need to see how we can associate this particular JSON data uh, with the Llama index so that we can query it. So for that, you need to write just few lines of code and I would say from Llama index dot code dot query engine and here we'll import JSON analyze query engine. Now once this is done, we can go ahead and construct the object engine for our querying purpose. So this is the object which we will be using to ask questions. So here we need to pass in few parameters. So you can have a look at these parameters, what all are these and what they are doing, but I will go with the bare minimum one. The, the first one here would be list object and here you need to pass in JSON. So data is my variable, you can see in the very first cell here. So I'm storing my JSON data in the uh, this data variable. Then you need to set your LLM. So LLM is the same object which I have created in just above cell where I'm instantiating my Azure OpenAI instance. So these are the bare minimum thing. Let's execute this cell. Okay, and then we are good to ask questions. So for asking the questions, I would say engine.query and here we will say, how many people live in New York? So it's going to take a few seconds and here you can see there are three people who live in New York. So if you want more detail about it, you can simply set verbo uh, verbose equal to true and it will generate the query also, what query it is constructing. So you will get an idea what it is doing internally. So here you can see select count star from items versus it equal to New York. So let's ask another question, which is some uh, mathematical type. So I would say, uh, what is the maximum age? Uh, let me see. Yeah. What is the maximum age among the individuals? And let's see what it has to say. So the maximum age is 45. Let's quickly validate it. And here you can see 45 is the maximum age. Similarly, we can uh, ask some question like contains or something. So I would say 
how many individuals have a name starting with let's take the names which are with multiple characters so s is having two names so i would say starting with s and it should come up with the two names ah uh, yeah so this is the query and here you can say the responses there are two individuals with a name starting with s now as a last question let's ask some question which is more on statistical side so i would say what is the distribution of ages among the people or say among the individuals and it should give me at least the overall picture of what this data is all about and here we can see the distribution of ages among the individuals is as follows 19 year old two individuals let's quickly confirm it so we have Emily and Kevin as a 19 year old then we have one 23 year old one is 27 year old so here you can see one 27 year old another one here Chris which is 23 year old and similarly 32 year old and one is 45 year old so this is how you can query your JSON data so whenever uh, you want to query your JSON data let's not pass in the text form or the plain text form rather it's always good to pass it to this analyzer and it will convert your table uh, data into the tabular form and then we can make a better query engine to get our answers so i hope you find this video useful and do let me know in comments what all things you are finding it difficult to achieve and i can come up with some kind of solutions on that thanks for watching